here, uh, you would you would type in uh, maybe like so backspace maybe I don't know. Space. Okay, that was a good attempt. So uh, what you're thinking is basically specify which key you're talking about, right? Yeah. That's the correct direction. But the way we go about doing it is not actually writing it there. So I'll show you guys uh, a different way to go about doing this. Now, it's, it's a good time to introduce you guys to the if statements. Who's heard of the if statements? Well, I, I heard of those in Full uh, Apparel. Okay, great. So if you're ever familiar with the if statements, they're the fundamentals to computer programming because computers aren't very smart. They'll only make the um, very simple decisions, including, you know, a simple yes or no. So right above print hello, and I mean like make a line right above print hello here. You can do that by either, you know, making press enter when you're, ha when you're hovering over the colon or pressing enter when you're in front of a print. Uh, or to the left of print, and then you should be able to make a new line in between. So let's type in the keyword if. An if statement is a comparison statement. It makes a comparison between two values or two separate uh, statements and to see if they are true or false. In my case, what I want to check is, is the key that I just pushed a specific key? Let's say we want to move our player let's, by, use, by clicking the, um, the right arrow key, right? So then we're going to go with, uh, we're going to type inside the if parentheses, key code equals equals write in all caps. And then a, a colon after. So now it says, looks Can like. Can you write this in the chat? Sure. I'm actually just going to type the entire thing. And then you made a backwards smiley face. Uh, a backwards frowning face. face. Yeah. Uh, Aww. Sorry, did someone... Oh, wait. I raised my hand. Oh, okay. You're afraid? My question was... Uh, are we going to be able to keep what we printed and keep um, the moving? Actually, so, like, can we add like some code saying like the first time you press a button, the message will appear? 